So uh, after lengthy discussions yesterday, we finally reached an agreement, and I was positively surprised because uh, when we went into the room, um, the signs were not that great. But uh, uh, everybody was very constructive, and I'm happy that we reached the uh, agreement. But of course, uh, we also have to discuss already the seventh package because things are not going uh, any any better in Ukraine, and as long as um, you know, the war is going on. Um, there is no peace. Ukraine hasn't won the war. We haven't done enough. And of course, we talked about, uh, you know, pushing Ukraine for for peace. Uh, um, that there are signs that um, the peace could be the ultimate goal. But uh, we had very intense discussions about this, and it's only up to the Ukrainians to say um, what kind of peace uh, they are uh, able to live with. And and also, uh, we have to give them all the military support so that they can defend themselves, because the peace can't be the ultimate goal. Even if there's peace, the atrocities for those territories that are conquered uh, will continue. So if we want to end the human suffering, we also have to push the aggressor back uh, to its borders. Thank you. Discuss the gas plan for today. Uh, not today, no. Um, we uh, discussed it briefly already yesterday, but uh, gas is, of course, much more uh, difficult than than oil already was. Uh, all the next sanctions will be more difficult because um, so far they have only hurt uh, Russians, but now they're also having effects uh, on on Europeans, and that's why it's much uh, more politically difficult to decide those things. So we will not discuss uh, gas today. We will discuss. Uh, repower uh, and energy issues. We will discuss defense and, of course, uh, the food security as well, which is very much connected to the uh, war in Ukraine. Uh, I think that the gas uh, has to be in the seventh package, but I'm realistic as well. I, I don't think it will be there. Yes, what we are doing, we are focusing on getting uh, additional gas supplies and also uh, yesterday evening we talked about uh, the Repower EU, how to uh, get the necessary energy uh, for for European Union, for different countries have different problems. But, uh, but the worry, uh, of course, with the gas is that uh, Russia is switching off, not only Denmark, uh, Netherlands, but also Denmark. Um, and, and maybe this will, will go so that that, uh, that the Russians will put the sanctions on gas. Today, are you going to discuss defense as a NATO country to Russia? What do you expect as Estonia uh, from this discussion? Um, I expect uh, uh, the unity and also uh, the um, decisiveness on uh, doing things together. What I mean by this is that um, there are military capabilities, uh, um, big and expensive military capabilities that no single country alone uh, can do. And now that all the countries have said that they will increase their defense expenditure to 2 percent, then the question is for what it is really spent for. And, and I think, for example, example, the air defense uh, covering a, a, a larger area is something that we can do together, procure together. Uh, so so um, uh, I will um, I expect uh, this, uh, this discussion to be not so much, uh, you know, regarding the national interest, but the European interests uh, as a well, whole um, in, in regards uh, to defense. Okay. It's a compromise. So, uh, if uh, I had to choose between, uh, you know, uh, a compromise or no sanctions at all, then I think it's a, it's a fair compromise. And I must say that everybody was very constructive uh, around the table, trying to find uh, the solution. So, so I think this was the best uh, uh, we could uh, get. And uh, as I said yesterday, I was very skeptical that we will reach an agreement. Uh, so that's a positive thing that we we did. Okay, thank you.